Welcome to the next video of the Diabetes Prediction System video series. In the last video, we have designed our home.html page. And in this video, we are going to design our prediction.html page. So let's get started. So first of all, let's see where we are till now. Let's open our website. So this is our home page. When we click on this button, let's get started. This predict page gets opened. And here we have written welcome with the predict page. So we are going to edit this page now. Uh, in this page, we are going to create a form in which the user will enter the values of various parameters like BMI, insulin, blood pressure, etc. And at the last, we will create a submit button. And when the user will click, uh, click that button, the results will be displayed. So let's start doing it. Let me open the predict.html page. Okay, so let's start by adding an image over here. So let's put the required image in this images folder. Now my picture is on the desktop. Let me drag and drop from here. So this is the required image and I'll put it into this images folder. Okay. Okay. So we have got our image over here. Uh, now let's write the code to make it the background image. Mm. Uh, I will again use internal CSS over here. Here we have to specify the relative path of this image. So let me get it from here, copy relative path and paste it here. And here we can just delete this thing. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so it is now fine. Let's refresh our web page and see whether it's working or not. Hmm, there is some error. Uh, okay, we forgot to put the load static tag in the beginning. Mm. Okay, now it should work fine. Let's refresh this. Mm. Still it is not working. Okay, so here I've put a, an equal to sign instead of a colon. So let's change this and refresh our web page again. Okay, fine. Now it's working well. Now let's create a form inside our body. Okay, so here we have created one input button and let's check how does it look like. Okay, so here the user will enter the number of pregnancies and like this input type, we have to create the similar input types for another uh, parameters like uh, glucose, blood pressure, skin thickness, insulin, BMI and age. Uh, now let's, now let me copy this, this thing, I mean this thing uh, six more times. So that I can create the input types for all the other parameters. So let's do it. Okay, now this is for glucose. And G 
change this name as into okay okay next is for um, blood pressure and the name is n3 next one is for skin thickness and name is n4 next is for insulin name is n5 similarly the next is for bmi body mass index name is n6 and the last one no the second last one is for diabetes pedigree function name n7 and the last one is for age and name is n8 okay now this is fine and at the bottom we are supposed to create a button submit button so let's do it first of all let's come out from this table tag and here let's create a button submit input type equal to submit yeah and now form is closed and after the form is closed here our result will be displayed result and in the double curly brackets let me write um, any name for the result variable let's say it is result 2 okay, i'll tell you later on that what is this result 2 all about First of all, let's check that how this thing is working. I mean, how this thing is looking like on our web page. Let me refresh this. Okay, so these columns are looking perfectly fine. And this button is also okay. When the button will be clicked, then here this result should be displayed. That is the result. That is when the result is positive or negative. Now, in order to make it look more better, we are going to add some CSS properties. So let's do it. Uh, now the code for the CSS properties will again be uh, available in the description below. Like I've shared one for the home.html page. You can just copy and paste it from there. But here let me quickly write it down.
You can see that our predict page is looking perfectly fine. Now let me try to click on this button and see what happens. This submit button. Okay, the this is showing some error that predict dot result didn't match any of these. In which uh, this means that uh, we have not basically mapped that what will what page will be opened when this submit button will be clicked. So let's make these changes in the URLs file. URLs dot py file. Okay, we have to create another URL pattern over here. Path predict result views dot result. Okay, now let's create this result function in the views dot py file. Yeah, here. Now we want that when we um, click on this submit button, we just want to stay on the same page that is this predict page and the result should be displayed over here. Now how to display that result, that result from that machine learning model here that I will show you in the next video. But here I will just do the basic settings then when this submit button will be clicked, we will stay on the same page. So let me do that thing. Render request and this same page predict dot html let me run this okay okay so here you can see that when i click on the submit button we stay on the same page so that's all about this video we have designed our predict dot html page which is now looking like this and in the next video, we are basically going to map our machine learning model that we have created in uh, second video to this website such that when the user enter, enters all its parameters over here and click the submit button, the result will be shown in front of this result. So see you in the next video.